So let's just move on to our uh, talk today. So let's begin. Uh, I think most of you have already seen our uh, promotion videos before. You should know that our university is located in Chengdu, that is in the southwest of China, the province and the capital city of Sichuan province. We can see it's also the um, hometown of Panda. This, this city, uh, you can see a lot of data here. We have a lot of titles. Our city is really very prosperous, convenient, open, and habitable. We have two uh, international um, uh, airports, so it will be very convenient for international students. And uh, Chengdu has some titles like the National Forest City and the Chinese Happiest City. Also, this Chengdu is the largest software industry base in the West China. And a lot of um, international famous companies um, invested here, like IBM, Intel, um, Intel, Microsoft, and Huawei. Uh, let's move to uh, our university, the history. Our university was founded in 1956. After around four years development, it was initially ranked as a national key university in China since 1997. Now, our university has realized a giant leap. It becomes a top 36 university in China. You know how many universities in China now? Actually, more than um, 2006. Uh, 100 ones and our university ranks top 36. Also, our university is the only one key university among the top ones, okay, focused on the development of ele electronic science and technology. According to the best global rankings, university rankings, our university ranks number uh, six in the electronic and uh, electrical and electronic engineering, we see triple E, and uh, number eight in the area of artificial intelligence, number 16 in the computer science. So our university not only enjoys some global reputation, but also performs well in our Chinese academic rankings. You can see here, for these disciplines has entered eight class, management and business administration. Um, now we have uh, 2,500 faculty members in total. Among them, 664 professors are included. Um, we still have uh, 20 IEEE fellows. Um, a university is a very diverse community, which will come our students from China and overseas. The total student population reaches to almost 40,000 now, and each year we received applications from over 120 countries and regions around the world. In terms of the international cooperation, we have already established cooperative relations with more than 200 universities and institutions from around 70 countries. So now let's move to uh, talk about our programs offered to our international uh, students. So in this picture, you can see um, at the undergraduate level, uh, we, uh, we offer you like the Chinese taught and English taught programs, and you can get in touch with our strongest disciplines in these programs actually, like the electronic information, communication engineering, computer science software, biomedical engineering. Also, uh, we have the business uh, administration. It is worth to be mentioned like the uh, major of computer science. We have both um, 
uh, Chinese taught and English taught ones. So if I'm interested in these programs, so you can go directly to our English website to get more details. And um, okay, so as a graduate level, I know most of you are interested in, right? So um, we provide like the master and the PhD uh, degrees for you. Um, it includes three degree types, engineering, science, and management. So we have like electronic science, information communication engineering, computer science, software. And uh, we also have like the management science, business administration, but pay attention, these two um, majors are only available for PhD applicants and the public management only available for master applicants. So beside our um, degree programs, we still have uh, two non-degree programs for our international students. One is a pre-university program. Uh, for this program, it's for those who could not meet the admission requirement for our undergraduate program. So you could join our uh, pre-university program and if you could finally pass the assessment and meet our university admission criteria, then you will get the chance to go directly enter the undergraduate program, okay? Uh, if you have no interest to our degree program, so yeah, but you still love a Chinese culture and language, maybe our Chinese language program will be your right choice. Okay, now the third part is our scholarship and application. This page will show you like our uh, fee structure. Uh, it includes uh, different uh, the tuition fees from different programs, and also um, see that our uh, university provide our international students with on campus dormitory. Besides, you will receive medical care during your stay in on campus. And it's also worth to be mentioned that the living cost in southwest of China is much lower than that of the coastal cities or regions like Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou. So Chengdu will be a good choice for you, for your study here. So um, if you're good in love, you could apply for our scholarships. Our university offers three main types of uh, scholarships for outstanding students. Okay, so uh, I will um, give you more details about the first two scholarship, the CSC and the Chengdu scholarship. For the third one, the university scholarship, this is um, only available for our graduate applicants. So if you want to know more about this scholarship, you can go directly to our English website. Okay. Um, so now number one, our Chinese CC scholarship, that is the Chinese government scholarship. It has two types. One is type A bilateral program and type B, the Chinese university program. For the first one, you should know that is available for both undergraduate and graduate applicants. And where to apply, it's important. You need to uh, consult your the ambassador of, Chi um, of China in your country or the educational uh, authorities in your country for more details. And for the type B, the Chinese university program, this is available only for our graduate applicants and you should um, submit your documents to the application to the USTCR university and to the CC online application system at the same time. Don't forget the beginning and the date of beginning and deadline for this application. This year, here's an, a little bit modification. We will start our applying for this scholarship from the December 1st this year, okay? And the deadline will be the first day of March next year. Okay, the second important scholarship, that is our city, Chengdu Government Scholarship. 
It also has two types. One is the Chengdu Sister City Scholarship, okay? And that's one is the Chengdu Belt and Road Scholarship. These two scholarships are funded by the Chengdu government, okay? So for Sister City Scholarship, you should know that if you are from the right sister city of Chengdu, you can go to our, also our English website to find out the list of our sister cities. Okay. So if you are right from that city, uh, no hesitate. You can try to apply for this scholarship. Okay. And, uh, the Ben Row scholarship that, that's pretty the same one. You need to, um, also, uh, you should find the Ben Row, uh, countries and then you have the right to apply. Okay. The deadline. Uh, when to apply, it is um, a little bit different from different levels of study. Okay, pay attention. So here's uh, like the list of our all requirements and type for all of our uh, programs. Uh, because time is limited, um, if you're interested in, just um, um, take a screenshot. Okay, then if any questions, you can send us email later to talk about this part. This page also, that is uh, general um, procedures about how to apply. This is very specific. You can also um, take a screenshot. Okay, so the last part, I will take good use of the rest time to talk about our campus life. Here's some pictures. Um, you, you should know that. This is, uh, there are, here are our teaching facilities. Okay, a classroom, library, teaching building. A library here, we have more than, um, 4 million printed and electronic books resources. A sports center, it's really very wonderful, you know. Um, I, I hope you can, you know, just, um, join our campus life one day. And here's some a dormitory on campus and our facilities. We have around seven cafeterias on campus, including different kinds of food, like the Chengdu, or Chinese cuisine, Western, halal food, local snacks, uh, hot pot, and barbecue. Here's our, we have our own university and hospital. Then our transportation is very convenient. We have our own international student associations. Yeah, they will organize many cultural activities. And uh, we have a very professional and international students, uh, I mean, the, the staff team to uh, su uh, support our international students. Like me, I'm just one of the members from this team. So here is our contact information and uh, we do welcome you to join, uh, to scan the QR code to join our, um, I mean, the, our uh, WeChat group. Okay.